It's entertainment schmig. Michael Douglas talking to a British newspaper about why Brits are getting American roles. This is guy's big beef with all the superheroes that they should be American, mm-hmm. not British or Australian. Mm-hmm. He said American actors too caught up in their image. And in Britain, they still take their training seriously. While in the States, we're going through some sort of social media image conscious thing rather than formal acting oh, yeah. training. Yeah, I about believe being that. a star yep. mm-hmm. and not being an actor. You're yeah. right. Famous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I totally agree with that. Michael Douglas gets it. <laughs> Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck, Us Weekly, is now saying that Ben cheated on Jen, and that is what caused their split. Gone, girl. Yeah. Some people are also saying that Ben got some new tattoo on his lower back. What? Tramp stamp? (laughs) (laughs) What losers do that? (laughs) Especially guys. (laughs) Do you think that's why uh, Jennifer's doing the uh, airline commercials? Those Capital One. Or Capital One, yeah. Mm. Well, you know, we did talk about what actors get paid for those commercials, and I, I want to say she made something like eight million dollars with her deal with Capital One, and if you. Look back, they said that her split with Ben happened about 10 months ago. When did we start seeing these Capital One commercials? Hey, you know, and, and if you're wondering why you're paying 22% annual percentage rate on your balances. It's because it's all in Jen's wallet. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> uh, Ranker came out with a list of the best actors working today. Tom Hanks, number one. Leo, number two. And number three... I'm Morgan Freeman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm not. Hi, Guy. Morgan Freeman. There we go. <laughs> Interesting. That was good, Jen. Study on maximizing your happiness while watching TV. They say that the average American sees about five movies a year. And if you want to be happy while watching TV, keep the commercials. Watching TV with ads more enjoyable than watching it commercial free. What What's the psychology on that? Uh, we... Enjoy TV less as time goes by and the interruptions disrupt that process, keeping the enjoyment level high. So when the show comes back, you're like, oh, yay. Mini break. Oh, I get it. it. I guess. Uh, Choose comedies. They improve your mood temporarily. Healthy for your heart. Laughing opens blood vessels and increases blood flow. If you're feeling depleted, watching a favorite rerun like Friends will restore your motivation. Or watching rerun on (laughs) what's what's happening. What's happening, yes. And don't overdo it on Netflix. A recent study. <laughs> Do it again, Courtney. Right. Hey, it's rerun. That's right. Fred Berry from St. Louis. That's right. A recent study linked binge watching to loneliness and depression. Uh, I get so that. It's very. It's, it's a very isolated thing. Yeah, and then, then at you the feel end bad of about ten hours, you're bit. like, all I did was watch. Netflix Why don't you feel hours. like that when you binge read, though? Oh, interesting, actually. They said if you want to be happy, read more. Because reading increases your empathy. That was my radio name back in the day. Read more. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are no, you? No, no, that was my catchphrase. Oh. <laughs> I'm reading more. How are you? What a catchphrase. I know. It was in the 70s. Courtney, it was. can you do rerun one more no, time? No, I can't. Oh, come you on. got it once. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah Messing was on Watch What Happens Live this week with Andy Cohen, and a caller asked about the best and worst guest stars on Will and Grace back in the day. She said, hands down, Harry Connick Jr. was her favorite. He played Leo Marcus, her husband, on the show. And then when they were trying to think of the worst... Uh, she said, hands down, Jeremy Piven. Oh, he just seems like a smarm dog. Oh, Jeremy. oh yeah. wait, though. This was like behind the scenes stuff. So she had to kiss him. He was an ex-boyfriend who popped up on the show. And they had to kiss in one of the scenes. And she said, he shoved his tongue all the way down to my heart. Oh. And when he did it the first time, she's like, whoa, whoa. And he's like, yeah, yeah. He was like, that's it. I'm in. And she said, you know, this is comedy. We don't have to go that deep. And she said every time he went for it. Just gross. Oh, man. (laughs) I know. And we know you were bald at one time, by the way, Jeremy (laughs) Piven. It's the only reason I did that story. (laughs) So uh, we just, just, uh, you know, invented a verb. You know, I got pivened. Yeah. Right? True. And we had the news for you yesterday that Rosie Perez is leaving The View. But listen to her tearful Goodbye. How long was she on? Ten months. That's why. (laughs) 
I've decided that it's time to move on. And uh, I will say that today is very bittersweet for me. Bittersweet. I'm excited for what is to come. But I am so sad to leave the view, the staff, the producers, ABC, and especially these two ladies. <laughs> These two. two. There are more than two women on The View. <laughs> Way to just single out half of your co-hosts. Just before she said <laughs> these two ladies, was she eating soup? <laughs> <laughs> it, guy, it's Mita Sweet. It is. It I is love a Rosie Perez accent. What was Will, uh, Woody Harrelson's name? And Billy! <laughs> <laughs> That's entertainment. Shemang. More at 840 and online at y98.com.